I will stop it. Well, thank you very much, Tom. And if Tom, we used to make a description of our current society as being like the early Roman Empire, with a lot of confusion and new religious movements arising. John, do you regard paganism as a new religious movement or an old religious movement? Uh, I hope this microphone is working. Am I audible? Uh -huh. Well, the inconvenient answer is that we're probably both at the same time. Uh, I'd like to make two points to begin with as a pagan. One is that perhaps to some extent the decline of religion over the past few centuries has been more apparent than real. In the past there was very strong social and even legal pressure to conform to established religion. That pressure has now largely fallen away and as it's fallen away we can reasonably assume that many people who used to be religious for purely conformist reasons have fallen away with it. There is no reason for anyone now to belong to a reformer religion unless they genuinely feel and experience a strong spiritual commitment to it. And although the numbers may be smaller, that is surely making religion stronger rather than weaker. The second point I'd like to suggest is that we've seen certainly in Scotland today and in the West generally religion become much more diverse, indeed, as it was to some extent in the Middle and earlier Roman Empire. And I think we should welcome that. That very pagans obviously look to nature for guidance in many ways, and nature is characterized by a diversity that supports every constituent part of it. We'd argue that that diversity in itself is perhaps expressing a truer understanding of the nature of divinity than could be provided by any single system of belief. In the year 384, a pagan Roman senator called Quintus Aurelius Symmachus wrote the following. We gaze up at the same stars. The sky covers us all. The same universe encompasses us. What does it matter what practical system we adopt in our search for the truth? Not by one avenue only shall we arrive at so tremendous a secret. The attitude underlying these words is still very central to modern paganism, and while I suspect we will always remain a very small element of the faith spectrum of the of Europe, of the West in general. I think that attitude, that diversity is good, that dialogue and contrast between different understandings of religion are good for society and good for the individual religions rather than a recipe for social conflict. I think that attitude will spread and become perhaps a characteristic of the of religion in the future. I'd hope so anyway. So I, while I wouldn't answer the question, is God back in the affirmative as I'm not a monotheist. I think the future of religion is healthy and I welcome that. Thank you.